In today's video, I will be replacing my auto tie rods as well as replacing the boots on my ball joints. So in preparation for this job, I went ahead and I borrowed this from my local auto parts store and I'm just going to use my 24 millimeter right on this and I'm going to push that pin down. Gotta watch out for that big pop. So there it is, it's out. Now we're gonna go ahead and take those off and pull those out. Yep. There we go. Once I got the tie off, now I'm just going to pull this back. This one leaked. This one was really bad. Almost like it's ready to pop out of the uh, the joint. Old, rusted. see the movement back and forth it's not supposed to be shaking like that so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out this one is so bad that I can't even use this to turn it you see how that is turning right up there it is totally shot so I have to use my hands to turn this and there it is it's out no good see that absolutely no good too much play it's totally worn out it doesn't even stay up so I'll go ahead and take this off clean it and put the new one on so here it is measured separated I'm going to go ahead and put this on first, and then I'll put this on last. Okay, so now that I've changed this, and I'm going to tighten this, and then use my cotter pin. The next step is to take these off down here, see if we can get to this right here, and get to the rubber right there. So I took these off first. I've also marked them. That one is up front. This one is here. Then come off here. And now I'm going to just take this off. It just comes out easily, just pushes down. So if this doesn't come out without a, without a fight, make sure you use this. So I'm using a 24 inch, 24 millimeter. There it is, it's out. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna retain my marks and uh, change this boot. Hopefully I can. Now let's get to the other side. Ooh, 
that took a while. So when these go back, you gotta be mindful of where they go. So this one goes in front, this one goes in the back. And I will pay attention to my marks. Just like that and that. That's the top. This is the bottom. We'll go ahead and clean those up. I'm gonna go clean this up and replace the boot. and also the grease inside. So I use some flits with my Dremel to clean this up. Got all the grease off. Nice and shiny. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the boots. I'm gonna purchase some new ones, add some grease, put the new boots on and uh, that should be it then we'll go ahead and reinstall them don't mix these up this is my driver side my passenger side and everything else has been marked okay everything's looking good I'll get to work on these and post it in the next video see you then